Hello, everybody. Today is Music Monday. I hope Mimi is already here. <laughs> Hi. And the dazzled, the jeweled, all of it. Perfect. People, this is Mimi, me blue. Nice. <laughs> She's an Austrian artist. She is a singer. She is a jewel designer. She is uh, an actress. A businesswoman, oh. entrepreneur. A is that me? Are you sure that was me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Darling, let, let's start. But I normally start these conversations by telling everybody how we met. Do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it definitely was some kind of a party. And your buddy Mimi is a jewel designer, and you have your own jewelry brand here in Vienna, with Sugar. How does this all came about? How did you how did you dove into the world of diamonds and pearls? This, this year we have 35 years and our shop is in the first district. I did one day to uh, make my own jewelry brand because I wanted to do my own thing. I do have a lot of respect for uh, for this business I'm designing and I do have my um, uh, goldsmiths who work yeah. for me. So I'm not a goldsmith, I'm a designer. You know, I'm working now for 10 years in, in this business and I'm also representing different designers from all over the world. So I used yeah. to, to, to see a lot of things and uh, which I love. And I work with a lot of artists in very different parts of the world. It's exciting, I love it a lot. And you're, you are an artist, I would say, but one of your biggest passion is music and you, you already released so many beautiful uh, pieces. And when did you start like making music or, or coming, coming up with? The first step to my music were, was actually dancing. I started dancing when I was three years old. Music was always part of my life. I used yeah. to listen to a lot of music and because of the dancing, of course, I had, I had a band. I started singing in a band, which was an amazing time for me, called What's Moonshaker, the name of the Moonshaker Sunnymaker. You can listen to it on Spotify. I really actually learned about songwriting and I learned about being on stage and yeah. You have such a great control over your voice. And I think as a singer, this is something that I always um, uh, respond to. So this is something that, that you do so naturally. You sing so well in such an effortless way. So please, everybody, check out Me Blue on Spotify because your music is really, it's, uh, I listen to it all day long because it is very specific. And on the other hand, it's, it's quite experimental as well. It's like you got R&B influence stuff. And so how, who gets your inspiration from? <laughs> I do have actually a lot of influences, which is good because in my heart, there is a dark side, a very emotional side, and um, I am very emotional and it's good. There's nothing wrong about being emotional, but there is also a lot of happiness and there is a lot of um, optimism. Yeah. So I think I really like the twist of dark beats, but also very easy and just let it go songs. I'm working with Tifa music. He's the main producer and I love him. We come I, like, yeah, I really like him because he, he's, um, he's a great guy. So I started writing lyrics a few weeks ago and I just, yeah. I just really knew it. It, it. Is it you being in a situation and then you totally know where you want to go with the lyrics and where the story should to go. So is it, is it easy for you to write lyrics? Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. I try to stick to the first idea because yeah. it's often the best idea. I think also by you being a designer, you are probably a very visual person. Um, it's for this song called Boy. It's just so brilliant. Was it you having the creative concept? No. Shout out to my beautiful, really talented friend, Sarah Scherer. She's a brilliant woman. The whole team was really, really great. So it looks couldn't couldn't done with them without that. Looks amazing. So from music to music videos to your Instagram page, <laughs> you you told us so you have this like collection of videos of characters that you're doing, and now you're releasing them, and everybody's responding to them so positively. Yeah. You are an actress, Mimi. 
I mean, there, there's like people yelling at, at, at like people who won't pick up the dog. Dog spray! <laughs> like this thing. <laughs> yeah. oh, so where does that come from? I really didn't want it to release those videos. It was just, it's a thing for years for my, for my friends on, on WhatsApp. Oh, now I, I am on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of questions like, what's the weirdest thing a guest has ever done at your home? There was one situation where someone was quite drunk. The person was talking with the, the hands and stuff and had like a glass of champagne or whatever. And all of it got spilled over my huge painting that I painted myself and I really got upset. But I mean, besides that, I think that many people had like intercourse in my bedroom or or in my bathroom. I tell you one story. Um, I used to have a very nice flatmate and um, I was, I was in the morning waking up and she was always an early bird and she went out. I need to pee. I went to the bathroom. Okay, it's closed. And I thought, okay, don't know. And I was starting talking. Hey, how are you? Uh, everything's fine. And da, da, da. I, I heard like noises and I didn't understand what's going on. And, um, and then I thought, okay, maybe she needs to take a shit and wants to do it privately. And it wants me to shut up, obviously. Yeah. Like, a long time later, because I was doing my makeup, getting ready for the day, and suddenly the door opens, and I was like, yes, and a naked man ran out of my toilet into her room. I wasn't shocked that he was naked. <laughs> I was shocked that he didn't talk to me, because I was really afraid. I didn't know that she had someone over. <laughs> So this was um, our awkward situation. I have a quite awkward situation with Lady Gaga too. I, I was invited to go to New York. There was um, a World Pride. We were backstage and so she would, you know, be there with her securities and did this little red carpet and she gave a speech and, and whatever. And, and she would be on the red carpet and talking to journalists. <clears throat> and my, all of my, my team, like Regina and everyone said, you should go there. This is your chance. You should go there. And I'm really not that person going up to someone. And they were like, no, really, you should go. And I thought, maybe I should go. Wait, maybe I should like, you know, look. Yeah. So that I would, I would go up to her and she, she was with her back to me and she was talking to somebody. And I obviously don't want to interrupt her, like <laughs> being in a conversation. And she was, no, actually, it's a very sad ending. She would talk and then she would finish and it's me like literally reaching like you wanna wanna <laughs> say hi and then her security guard turns her around and shoves her back to the back and she was gone. And I was then like <sighs> oh, to all my party people, there's the last challenge, okay? I told you to prepare some um Ma cosmetic item. <laughs> My boy can make a smoke, make smoky eyes, okay? Yeah. Um, I love this song so much. I love it too. I'm really, how do you, excuse me, how do you push your wimpan when they're closed? I already did it. Okay. We take this and we try the David Bowie blitz. That actually looks cool. Right? It was so much fun. Bye, Mom. Bye. <laughs>